All right, so I'm here in day number 19 of the 75 Heart Challenge. And uh, here in day 19, I went to the gym to do my first workout. I'm doing my second 45 minute workout outside, going with the walk with the family back there. But I went to the gym today because I started with the ambitious dream that I was gonna do weight training every single day for 75 days. Now, I'm all about intensity, lifting heavy, uh, less volume, fewer reps, more weight, hitting that muscle group, getting more done in less time, right? So I knew when I ambitiously said I was gonna train every single day with weights for 75 days, I knew that I would have to lighten up the weight, but you guys are seeing the amount of weight I'm lifting, it's still significant, all right? I break my body into five different days of training. So I split the body so it's it's not a lot of volume, all right? But it's five days, and then five more days, and then five more days. So again, here in day number 19, it's only been two days out of the 17 that I haven't trained with weights. And you know, all this walking, it, it's getting me lean fast. Uh, Zach asked me, wow, you look leaner than I've watched. Is it because you're working out so much, so much movement, or is it your diet, what is it? I just think it's a combination of all the, the details is getting me lean really fast. I'm actually surprised how lean I'm getting, but it's just a lot of activity, um, maybe more attention to my diet even, and I had a good diet before. But you know, getting back to the training, intensity and volume. And this is a question I get asked all the time. Uh, what's the right amount of days to train? What's the best training split? Uh, how many days should I train? Three days, four days, five days? Well, number one, it depends on your goals. What are you after, right? Um, but the other thing is, what level of intensity are you, are you working out, right? Uh, even with me training lighter, it's still heavy and I still need more recovery. So today, so out of these 19 days, today was the third day. So 16 days I trained with eight, the third day I didn't train with eight. So I intended to. Got under that uh, leg press to start off my workout. And again, I'm feeling a little sore. I'm doing a lot of walking every single night, doing cardio. Plus, you know, working legs, you know, every five days with no rest. But I'll tell you, just on the warm-up weight, like my legs are buckling, right? They have not recovered. And it's not because I'm older. And it's uh, not because of mental toughness. Look, I've been doing this for 33 years at the highest level. I would admit to it, oh, I'm not into it. Or it's getting older. No, it's just everybody thinks they train hard. Everybody thinks they train heavy, but it's compared to what? And with the amount of weight I'm lifting, with the amount of intensity, I just can't train at this frequency. Uh, the, you know, I just can't do so many sets at this weight. The body has to recover, and that's what I'm learning. So I, I get asked the question all the time. You know, what's the best body part split? Should I just train it the body part once a week or twice a week? Full body. All right, whatever the workout is, it's really how you hit it. And just because you're training hard, doesn't mean you're really hitting that hard. So learning a lot about myself, learning even more about all this training at a deeper level. And so hopefully uh, that's helpful to you because uh, you see the amount of weight I'm lifting. All right now I'm lightening it up, all right? So volume, frequency, intensity, all factors into how many times a week you should train the muscle to reach your goals. All right, so that's gonna do it for day number 19. On my diet, all the critical factors, even getting in my uh, two workouts, even without the weight, I did 45 minutes of uh, cardio in the gym on the bike, and then this walk that I do every single night or in the morning, 45 minutes. So those are my two workouts to meet the requirements. If you guys have any questions, uh, if you want to see anything, I want to make these videos 
a more informative, right? Give you a little insight, tips. Besides just me training, starting to, you know, at least list my workouts so you can see me training. But how many sets did I do and those type of things? I want to tell you about more about uh, my personal journey, uh, about aging, my body, life. As I approach 60 years old, uh, a lot of guys can relate to a lot of things that I learn right, through my one-on-one -on -one coaching, right? I want to share all those things with the journey. Still getting the system down here. It's 19 days. You know what the right format is and scheduling this around my work and family. But I want to, I want to do this. I want to come up with a formula and a system that can provide you with the most value, all right? So that's going to do it for day number 19. And uh, join me tomorrow.